All right, guys. So, so that day for me didn't end up so well. Uh, I'm here, uh, seasick. <laughs> Welcome back guys to the Miami Bro channel. Today we are going fishing. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, I have a special guest who uh, invited me to come on his boat. We're gonna go fishing. This is my first time actually going out deep sea fishing in uh, somebody else's boat. And uh, it's gonna be uh, fun. So guys, stay tuned and uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so, all right. So this is the beginning of the day. We are uh, just, uh, Get the boat off the, the trailer and we're ready to start our uh, fun day. <laughs> this is a nice boat. My friend has a real nice boat, Ariel. Guys, check out his videos. He does a lot of cool videos. He's a new, tube, new uh, YouTuber and um, he's been following me for a while. I've been giving him tips about you know what to do, what not to do with, with regards to making videos. And he is, uh, he's, uh, he's doing it, man. He, he's already up there by 500 and something followers already. You know, he's doing his thing and uh you guys should check out his videos check out his videos support his channel and uh you'll see him here today he was nice enough to uh invite me over on his boat you guys could check out his boat really nice and he said hey let's do it let's do a fishing trip and that's what we're gonna do i said yeah let's do it all right guys hope you guys uh enjoy this video stay tuned for the cool stuff
right, so we made it out here to the fishing spot, which is far as hell, <laughs> further than whatever I've, I've ever gone. And uh, my friend's boat has this thing, it's called a sea keeper. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this in the video or not, but uh, right now the boat is literally moving big time. Um, and then when he turns it on, the sea keeper, what it does is that it, st it stabilizes the boat from moving with all these waves, as you guys can see. I don't know if it's gonna work out because the, this GoPro has a stabilizer, so. Let's uh let's try to check it out and see how, how it works. Go ahead, yeah, I just put it on right now. Alright, so there you go. He just he turned it on right now. And like I said, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but the boat literally stopped I'm swaying. Turn it off. So he just turned it off now. And now he turned it off. Yeah, you guys gotta gotta be here to experience the movement of the boat of how it feels. All right, guys. Stay tuned. You gotta check this out. Somehow we got a flying fish that flew into our, into our boat. It literally landed inside the bucket. <laughs> Look at that, bro. Alrighty then. All right. So even though I took this mo motion business, uh, motion sickness uh, pill thing, whatever this morning, let me tell you, I'm not really used to this uh, type of uh, boat movement. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be a good day and I don't throw up. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so so that day for me didn't end up so well uh i'm here uh seasick <laughs> seasick and i threw up a couple of times already oh my god bro so if you guys are not used to uh i guess the movement of the boats in the, in the water i recommend you take at least like two motion sickness pills or three or just don't come out at all did you, did you take one I took one, but it's not doing no effect at all. I'm freaking dizzy as hell. Uh, so I'm trying to see if I can wait. To his defense, guys, I don't know if y'all can see it with the water line there. It is a little choppy. It's about two to three, even though the they said zero to one. Well, uh, the, the, he's not throwing up for no reason, guys. It, the it wasn't, the it's weather bounced. channel lied. Yeah, the weatherman was wrong. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so wonder, we're going we're gonna to give it a try to see if... if, if if after a while he gets better, if not, we'll go a little bit more inshore. Hey, if anything, uh, at least we caught the fly fish. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> All right, so ex explain what is it you're doing? All right, this is an anchor buoy system. So, so we don't have to pull the anchor in. Like, as you see, it's taking me. <laughs> So we don't have to pull it by hand. Slide this in here like that. Lock it into place. Yeah. So now I'm going to put this right up here. Basically, this is going to do this. This ring is going to slide all the way to the anchor and put it up floating in the air. So what we do is, I throw this line, this buoy, in the water. Go ahead and untie myself right here.
that boot, at the tip of that boot. And look, you can bring it in nice and easy. No heavy weight, no lifting. It's just literally floating on the tip. What is the system uh, called? Uh, it's called the Anchor Ball uh, retrie uh, Anchor Retrieval System. Or people call it uh, Anchor Buoy System. So, as you see, once you get to the chain point, you know you don't want to mess up your boat either. feet of water oh my god forget yeah. it bro it would be the last spot you would want to move <laughs> So we left our little fishing spot, a uh, little experience we were having over there. Uh, we had a technical failure. <laughs> we had a major fail. <laughs> uh, so we decided to come out here to uh, actually try to see if I could make myself feel better. I'm gonna jump in the water. I didn't want to jump in the water over there because we were chumming. And uh, we decided to uh, come to uh, an old spot. We haven't been we haven't been here in a while. I haven't been here in months uh, to Sands Cut because Sands Cut was actually closed off now they finally have it open because the sandbars are open so hopefully uh, i still feel maybe about 50 percent still dizzy hopefully uh now when i jump in the water in, in this um in this little area here hopefully i'll feel better and uh, i'll continue to record and show you guys uh how this place is and uh for saturday um i think it's probably around 10 o'clock in the morning or so it's right now pretty packed check it out And of course, my man's boat here hauls ass. <laughs> we were heading over here going almost like 57 miles an hour. And uh, wow, man, it makes a huge difference in time-wise uh, when you have a boat that basically, basically could get you places really fast. It's amazing. We could even outrun the, the weather. Like if you look back there, back, back there is uh, storming. All right, guys. All right, guys, so we ended up coming here to a uh, sand cut sandbar. Uh, I, did, I was dying to jump into the water uh, because, um, as you guys, yeah, as you guys saw, <laughs> I, I wasn't feeling that good. I was actually uh, throwing up. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed by it. It happens. Uh, but let me tell you, being able to uh, get off the boat for for a while, it should uh, actually help me get uh, get better. So we are here. This was uh, completely unexpected, but uh, hey, we gotta make the best of the day, right? man as you guys can see some people uh, recognize me out here <laughs> it's been a while it's been a while since i've been here since cut but yeah man this is this place is, is always a uh, always a fun spot check it out check it out so long guys how you guys doing enjoying the day awesome awesome what do you guys think about the spot i'm, I'm so glad it's opened up 
because a couple of months ago this was closed yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's pretty good but check, check out the weather back there it's pouring raining yeah. and over here we came out first like early uh -huh. just, you know so we can get in and then they came after but we came out here and it was kind of raining out here bro we we actually went to do a fishing trip and we went all the way out and um i'm not used to the the the, the, the movement of the boat yeah forget it bro i got super seasick and i was like wait we gotta go and we went all the way out there forget it i was like throwing up i was like we gotta get out of here man <laughs> get out of here <laughs> oh for sure let's go fishing let's change it up a little bit since the wife was like ah we went out on the boat last weekend whatever let's sit this weekend out i'm like no i'm not sitting this weekend out <laughs> I saw that the weather was pretty good, so. Yeah, it's nice wind, no wind. So. Pero... No, but out there, out there was yeah, out choppy, there bro. Two to three. Two yeah. to three. Super choppy. It said zero to one to one to two, but uh, they were wrong today. <laughs> nah, I go, I do, usually like flamingo out there, go in black monkey or. Oh, nice, nice. All right, guys, stay tuned for more.
so in our continuation of our uh, adventure we are gonna go for round two now that i feel better uh we actually anchored some other place and we're gonna actually now uh try to see if we could try to do some fishing try to see if we could actually catch something uh we're on a mission <laughs> we gotta get home with, with something with a fish something <laughs> i'm gonna go to sedano's or polix and buy a fish <laughs> i don't know i don't know but check this out we're, we're here fishing right in this little spot which i've came here before i've recorded actually a video of this spot before and like out of all places that people could have gone to want to jump in the water and chill they chose literally the canal area this is a canal channel whatever you want to call it this is where all the boats pass by and as you can see people actually post up here and fish so yeah let's see what let's see if we uh if we have any luck and catch something all right we got a fish on on the boat <laughs> little grunt little grunt at least we, uh, at least it's a fish <laughs> yeah he didn't he didn't leave on zero at least <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit a yeah. feisty one. Yeah, see. Yo, got that thing stuck in his mouth big time. If you guys hear it, that's why they call it grunts. Alright, buddy. Back to your family. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is my second catch of the day. He's a little bleeder. This little sucker was hungry, too, boy. <laughs> Alright. So I guess the day is turning up. It seems that uh, we're starting to do uh, starting to do uh, pretty good. Let's see how this goes. All right, guys, check this out. So we actually came out again <laughs> and gave it, it another try. And check it out. Woo! Not so bad. Not so bad. Trying to go for something bigger though. That is pretty decent. And surprisingly, I still haven't felt seasick. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. This is the end of the day, and uh, we actually had a good time, even though the beginning of the day started a bit rough. Uh, I got seasick. I don't know if my boy here is gonna put the video where I was actually throwing up. I wanted him to record it with my camera, but uh, <laughs> he, he recorded it with his camera. I was trying to hold on like a soldier not to throw up, but it came out and it happened, whatever. Um, and hopefully this is not gonna be the first or last time that we hang out and we do this, you know, this uh, fishing excursion trip. Uh, whatever you guys want to call it, but uh, we are here and heading back to the Homestead Marina and it was the end of the day and we actually made it. It was actually productive, right? Yeah, we went over there. We, we uh, put did, fish on the boat. We didn't, we didn't catch crap. We ended up at the sandbar. We, we hung out there at the sandbar until, you know, my, my dizziness went away. Exactly. And then we went to get, you know, some other place. We started fishing some more. We caught some small fishes. And then at the end, we, we, we actually went back out and surprisingly, I uh, wasn't getting uh, seasick anymore, but we were running out of gas in the boat, so we had to head it back. So Must be a beer. <laughs> I said I told him I was like, you know what? Next time I gotta take, I gotta drink some beers before we actually head out <laughs> to kind of uh, keep myself balanced. Right. But yeah, we are definitely heading back out right now. As you guys can see, I'll show you right now. There are boats who are heading out from here. They're probably gonna go fishing now at nighttime. Uh, and this will conclude our, uh, our excursion for the day. Uh, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, my boy here, he has his YouTube channel. I'll put his link down below. If you guys follow him. He is uh, making some uh, cool videos as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the Miami Bro Channel.